Dear students, welcome to the knowledge series. And today we are going to discuss on input output management. Let's see this very first figure on the input output management. There are three major jobs uh, that is being handled by the computers. And that means uh, uh, input, output, and the processing. And uh, these uh, things is being passed through the memory for storing the activities. So uh, the job which is being fed to the input device is being processed to the uh, by the CPU uh, via memory and finally that is being passed to the output device through memory. So the primary goal of uh, uh, the, uh, the computer is being handled by the operating systems and uh, the operating system used to act as an interface between the input device and the output device thereby the input uh, uh, the entire process activity is being carried out but in uh, in short the operating system is nothing but the interface between the hardware and the user that used to use this particular uh, device for processing the input to the output. Now, uh, when we talk about the input output management, what exactly is the uh, management it does? Say for example, if you want to uh, uh, interrupt uh, uh, the any particular activities that is being carried out by the systems, then the input management will try to see that if that interrupt which is being uh, taken place is it having any priorities or not if it is having a priority then it will ma uh, uh, make the particular process which is being handled by the CPU currently to suspend and and to re return back to the most demand input uh, 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 activities or the level which uh, the uh, operating system will try to instruct to process according to the conditions. So that's why the input, uh, input, out input management and similarly the output management is a very primary uh, component that uh, uh, decides how this particular uh, process has to take place between these two uh, uh, sections, that is the input section and the output section. Moreover, if you try to come across this one, input, input device is there, CPU memory, and the output device and the CPU is processing this data which has been processed from the input and finally uh, it is being delivered to the um, output and uh, uh, which is being stated as the results of the processing in a human acceptable forms that means uh, whichever is accepted by the uh, systems or by the acceptable accepted by the uh, 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 the way the device has been uh, designed by the human beings so if you try to see the input output, there is a control system is there. We can say, uh, say it as a uh, IOCS, input output control systems. So uh, in the in input output control systems, there are uh, several peripherals are coming. Input peripheral is coming, output peripheral is coming, driver is coming, uh, and then uh, scheduling is coming, then uh, apart from uh, uh, this one buffer is coming. So these are the components that we are going to see under the input output management in this particular area of uh, discussions. And uh, uh, in the op uh, when we talk about the operating system that manages this input and output uh, uh, using its uh, uh, various uh, uh, protocols, uh, that's why the you know what are the things it manages as far as the uh, 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 input output management is concerned is nothing but uh, here if you if you look across here the keyboard a key a keyboard is coming mouse is coming uh, say touchpad is coming if it is a modern system and here there is if it is a storage uh, phase then there is a disk driver is there then uh, for the display the display adapter is there then for giving an input apart from the keyboard we are uh, we should have a usb uh, adapter uh, point or a us usb device uh, as well as its driver point 
and uh, 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 moreover there should be a network connections that need to uh, transfer if it has to connected to uh, connected with uh, several uh, other computer systems and uh, uh, on the output side uh, uh, say for example io printer speakers scanners uh, so the scanners we are putting at the input side so uh, like these things many many uh, uh, areas the in uh, the computer system try to manage it so if in uh, under this uh, particular case the speed cpu speed it need to increase uh, because it it has to process a uh, multiple uh, activities under the single chip level so that's uh, uh, that's the one of the uh, herculean task of the cpu because large amount of data need to be processed and the problem of uh, problem in the transfer of the data uh, 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 via cpu uh, uh, via memory uh, through cpu uh, in a reasonable amount of a time is uh, one of the uh, brilliant task that cpu has to perform so that uh, it should able to uh, ha uh, prove its efficiency as well as its utilizations now let's see the another area the classifications of the uh, devices classification of the devices uh, are put across like a human uh, uh, readable uh, uh, forms communication and uh, machine readable so when we talk about a human readable uh, forms uh, it is nothing but uh, uh, like for example uh, monitor uh, keyboard and mouse this is a human interactions uh, uh, things that can able to uh, make the uh, uh, the things which can be uh, interacting with the uh, under the human uh, uh, perspectives so that that is used to communicate by the users not only this one the video display terminals uh, mouse printer so when we talk about the human readable forms if you see about a video display terminals so this one a video display terminal is having a 50 mbps speeds keyboard if you are incorporating it is a 10 mbps speeds. mouse is if it is there then it is 50 mbps printer if it is putting at the output side it is a 4 mbps like that different uh, uh, areas will it will be uh, giving a different speed now, now the next is nothing but a machine uh, readable forms if you talk about a machine readable forms uh, it is a disk uh, or a tape drivers uh, a scanner comes controller comes actuator comes so uh, uh, this is used to um, uh, machine readable means it is used to communicate with the electronic equipment so if you talk about a disk driver here so it is a 10 mbps speed tape driver 5 mbps speed and uh, if you are having a controller then uh, that controller uh, will be uh, like a magnetic uh, 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 optical disc cd uh, uh, rom all these thing is a 1 mbps uh, speed actuator is there actuator uh, uh, will be around 100 mbps speed so these are the part of this uh, uh, machine readable forms now the third is nothing but a communications communications uh, where uh, uh, which is used to communicate with the uh, uh, remote systems or a, mm, let me take it as a wi-fi systems also so we have a drivers a, a in this particular case right driver is there modem is there router is there so these are the things which is coming and when we talk about a, a digital uh, line driver so this is coming around 19 point uh, uh, 375 mbps uh, speed that is a atm networking systems then a modem uh, is there that is a 5 mbps speed then ethernet is there that is a 1.25 mbps speeds so these are the components under the communication device now on the other hand if you try to see across uh, uh, what are the uh, device driver has to do uh, with uh, further classifications so under the further classifications we have a uh, the device driver is to transfer the data now when we talk about uh, transferring the data every device has to uh, will be uh, communicating in a various uh, different uh, speeds so that is the uh, things with respect to transferring this particular uh, data say for example uh, if you if you take about uh, the case of uh, uh, say wi-fi its speed will be different as compared to the bluetooth so like that you will be seeing i will be showing in the next slide if you talk about a, 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 a keyboard it is close to uh, 10 raised to 2 mbps mouse it is greater than 10 raised to 2 if it uh, similarly modern it is clo uh, close to 10 raised to 5 mbps so uh, ethernet it is in a giga 
so uh, that's how it is spreading so every every devices will be having hard disk uh, uh, this particular device is very close to 10 raise to 8 mbps so uh, uh, sorry uh, 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 10 raise to uh, 10 raise 10 raise to yeah, uh, it is 10 raise to 8 uh, bits per second so it, you, you should convert into uh, 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 mbps so every device scanner scanner it will be take it is greater than 10 raise to 4 uh, bits per second so every devices is being termed uh, with respect to the uh, different rate each device when you connect to the cpu it will it uh, the cpu will be uh, 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 processing based on its speed so uh, 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 if if a higher data if you are looking need to process uh, so you have to look for a higher end devices so that's how if you want to look for a lower end uh, device for the example for processing you you need a lower end now you see the keyboard and mouse mouse is more sophisticated compared to the keyboard so its speed is increasing now if you see a scanner scanner is uh, uh, scanning the input so its speed is di uh, different floppy disk floppy disk is for saving so its speed is different as compared to the hard disk because uh, uh, hard disk is more uh, uh, more more uh, 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 what you call the, uh, the size and the structure is more uh, bigger compared to the keep uh, floppy disk so its speed is high so that's how the data transfer rate is uh, talk so it's the speed at which the data is transferred from one device to another now uh, uh, when you talk about a uh, uh, keyboard its data rate it is uh, slow when you talk about uh, other device which I have explained like even the going to the graphical display its data rate is much higher now coming to the next is the applications applications uh, is uh, basically it talks with respect to the uh, that uh, which type of uh, uh, devices you are used for uh, for uh, file storage or for computing so the disk that is used to store the file uh, uh, by a particular uh, manage, uh, software uh, uh, applications so that is uh, handled by the uh, file management systems even when you when you uh, when you talk about a uh, um, virtual memory concept so its management uh, based on the uh, uh, based on the uh, device uh, uh, classification of the device management it varies as compared to the simple memory so the system uh, mm, uh, 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 all this uh, particular classification uh, is based on the system administra uh, administrator who, who try to uh, pro uh, control program it accordingly based on the priorities now third is the complexity of a com control now as I have already stated that the device uh, 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 with the higher complexity higher uh, uh, structures our higher uh, uh, integrated components it will be having a uh, uh, the, uh, the complexity will increase automatically the sp uh, data rate and the speed structure everything varies so that's why the de device such as a mice uh, a mouse and a keyboard have a little control but when you talk about uh, any bi-directional devices like a disk, disk driver everything so that becomes very complex unit of uh, transfer so uh, whenever we are transferring any data so it is being uh, uh, treated in terms of a uh, bits uh, per second so a stream of bytes uh, when it is used for transferring the data so that then we we put it uh, in terms of a block so that is known as a unit of transfer data representations data representation means we know that data is always represented in the form of a binary zeros and one so that is encoding schemes so whenever a program is written uh, a set of data consisting of a a series of instructions uh, then the computer need to recognize in terms of a zeros and one so that is how the data representation is there next we say error management when we talk about uh, uh, error management you have to understand that uh, 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 whenever the computer uh, CPU uh, try to interact with the variable uh, various devices uh, uh, there are chances that uh, the uh, error may uh, uh, exist because of the uh, 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 the bit transfers so the operating system will immediately try to analyze that one and uh, it will um, uh, try to see that the if that particular error, error has to nullify so the device that responds the error uh, differently uh, 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 is falls under the error management so a complex input output devices uh, often uh, uh, recover or handle the error 
uh, by the operating system that I mean to say. Now come programmed or a pooled input. Now program and a pooled input means the processor issue an input output in, uh, based instructions uh, on behalf of currently executing process and the process uh, loop uh, increasingly until the input output re request is satisfied. So uh, now when you, when you talk about a, uh, uh, any particular pool of uh, in, uh, instructions or a pool of uh, program, then uh, that, that in, uh, indicates that it is uh, talking with respect to the, uh, uh, that, uh, the number of cycles where the executions will take place uh, under that particular uh, 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 list of uh, program uh, lines. So that is how that particular uh, the management has to do. For example, you need to uh, you need to you have a function and that function has to repeat uh, oftenly by taking a, a certain inputs and uh, also by giving a certain uh, command to the output. So in that uh, conditions, you should have a mm, pool input uh, mechanisms or a pool in inclu in include form of a uh, that particular uh, uh, systems. Thereby, the executions can be done in an appropriate manner. Interrupt driven control. Interrupt is nothing but a, uh, uh, that uh, uh, the process whenever it is running, if it has to interrupt at the middle uh, to make the CPU to suspend that uh, uh, execution and uh, return that uh, input, uh, that particular data back to the ready state. So that is uh, known as an input driven control. So in this case, the processor issue an input uh, based instruction on behalf of a current uh, execution. That is what I mean. The current input output process is blocked and the another process may be executed but the previous the the, the blocked uh, process is send it back to the input now next uh, last uh, point is nothing but a dma this is one of the important uh, components and uh, we will be talking in this one separately dma is nothing but a, 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 a when the cpu is executing any particular activities and if that particular activity need to relinquish to uh, some other uh, 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 sorry it is a uh, uh, some other, uh, uh, this is a not, uh, uh, I mean to say, I switch over. This is a direct memory of uh, uh, access. So direct ma memory uh, uh, access is basically based on that whenever a CPU is working any activities, immediately the CPU want to relinquish its task to some other uh, uh, device so that CPU can uh, do that, uh, uh, do another activity. For that one, the DMA is coming. So uh, in the DMA, what happened? The processor issue an input output uh, based instruction on behalf of its own uh, currently executing process. Uh, so uh, so a DMA will handle that particular in input output uh, instruction. Now actually DMA, what it does, it manages the data transfer from the main memory. That is from the main memory uh, uh, and to the input output uh, without the processor. So uh, there is there is a DMA here. So DMA will directly interact with memory. CPU is uh, 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 made it free, and it will make the whatever input is coming. It will be taking it to output. So the DMA is a part of that uh, that memory because CPU has given that uh, uh, that activities to DMA so, mm, uh, on behalf of it, uh, uh, its own, so that the executions will be done parallelly. So the CPU can also compute. The, the rest of the other activities. So that is what I mean to say. Now, when you uh, when we when we talk, uh, try to see across this particular uh, scenario, uh, 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 let me uh, uh, say that uh, th this is a computer-based input-output rules. That means let us uh, think that this is a, a, a processor, or we I, I put it as like a program logical controller or a, a processor. In this processor, a processor is a central point. Uh, uh, input is devices is a which is an external device. This external device is giving an input to the processor. How it is giving a, a, a input to this processor through an input interface, because this inter interface is nothing but uh, a, a, a the one which try to uh, understand the protocol of the processor and try to see that is it is is that a protocol what the input device is uh, uh, connected. Is it uh, is it suitable for processing that inputs requirement by the process? That's why the input interface is coming in the uh, in, bet in in between the input device and the processor. Similarly, the output device which is connected to the output world 
it is also connected through the output interface because once the processor computes and given to the command to the output interface the output interface will try uh, uh, prior to uh, sending it out try to see that uh, the the data that is being uh, generated or the information that is being generated by the processor is it suitable to the output uh, devices or not uh, then there is a, a, a program uh, and a data me memory is there so that is what uh, is been put across this place the program and the data memory and uh, uh, we, uh, we we all know that when we talk about a cpu uh, the uh, cpu has a general purpose register is there that is a uh, basically is for storing the data similarly the cpu is also having a segment register uh, basically in the segment registers what we do is that a program uh, for containing a data is being stored here so that is what uh, we see like a code segment is coming in under this particular uh, scenario then there is a control register is also coming here because the control register in the third one which is coming here because a control register is a, a processor registers uh, uh, which change uh, wi which decides and controls the behavior of the C cpu uh, uh, and also the uh, other devices other digital devices so uh, that is what uh, for example interrupt control so this is a one simple example of the control registers and uh, uh, there is a instruction pointer registers so instruction pointer register is uh, uh, decides the when we write the programs where the instructions and in which address it is being uh, residing uh, so that is what being uh, handled by the instruction pointer register that means we talked about the general purpose register we talk about segment register we talk about control register and thereby the instruction uh, pointer registers now uh, uh, in the program memory uh, what is that the, the program memory is to execute the instructions so a data memory is been associated to the uh, program memory uh, that is a, a temporary variable data is being stored here for the immediate result communication interface is not nothing but if you are communicating uh, with the wi-fi device or, or or through the internet the processor will com communicate through the communication device and uh, uh, for all these devices a power supply source is being uh, put across there and uh, a power supply is uh, being uh, connected so uh, in nutshell every activity is whatever i have uh, stated with respect to uh, cpu uh, the whole activities uh, like uh, in the registers and ex uh, as well as the other area it is a homogeneous uh, uh, collections of a device so it need to control based on the uh, under the home uh, under that particular uh, uh, way so that there will not be any hang up there will not be any error generations and the system should be able to work in a very smoothful manner so these are uh, nothing but the components related to the uh, uh, computer input output device now another area is uh, is that input device uh, i just want to talk about there are input device is input across in this slide is keyboard is there mouse is there uh, trace ball is there space ball joystick if you want to uh, uh, recognize the voice voice recognition if you want to uh, do a scanning image scanner touch screen is there if you want to use uh, uh, a special type of uh, keyboard like in even the even the mobile nowadays everything is in the touch screen format digitizer is there light pen is there suppose you want to use a uh, white uh, just like here i am my mouse is moving but if i am having a light pen automatically i can write it in a comfortable manner so uh, uh, these are nothing but the basic components related to the input output management so i believe that uh, uh, this uh, particular sections will be uh, suitable to uh, make you to understand that the how the input output management is uh, being uh, uh, carried out and uh, uh, thereby the all the device can be put and work in a very synchronized manner with this i conclude here thank you